Hey guys, it's Dorm, and welcome to Inksplash Studios. This is going to be a Requiem Studio tutorial on how to pretty much add a security camera system to your game inside of Requiem Studio. I'm in just a private room. Uh, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually set it up inside of Requiem Studio. I'm going to show you how it looks in-game as well. So now I'm going to show you the two little scene areas I have set up inside of this room, and I'm going to explain how I'm going to do my setup fully before we jump over into Requiem Studio itself. All right, so for the sake of this tutorial, I just have a simple little spinning model just to show that it's a real-time updating camera effect. It's not just a stationary image that's meant to look as if it is a camera. It is actually a live updating camera using render textures. Now, this tutorial, it is pretty beginner-friendly, but it is more of an intermediate as it is good to know the generalized layout of Requiem Studio before watching this, but... Everything should be simple enough for you to follow through, even if you don't have much Requiem Studio experience at all. So on this TV screen is pretty much where I'm going to place the actual camera itself, where the player will be able to view it and see everything that's happening. And what it's going to do is it's going to display the 3D spinning maker pen if everything is set up properly. But now that I've explained how everything is going to work and how I'm going to do everything, I'm going to hop over into Requiem Studio, and then I'll show you guys how to set it up from start to finish. And then I'll show you what it actually looks like inside of Requiem itself. Alright, so I've opened my scene up in Requiem Studio. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this top left drop down up here, right at the plus sign. Click it, go to 3D Objects, and then go to Cube. Now I'm going to press W, and this brings up the shortcut for moving. And I'm going to move it over to the center of my scene. Now I'm going to press R, and this brings up the scaling shortcut, and scale it down. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same drop down. But this time, instead of a cube, I'm going to add a plane. This is going to be our camera's screen itself. So I'm going to move this over, press R again, and then scale it down by clicking this little center piece here, and then dragging down. Now I'm going to press W, and I'm going to move it over. And then now, if you press E, it'll bring up the rotation. So rotating like this isn't always as accurate as I'd like it to be. So what you can do is you can go to the top right, and you can manually edit this number and just make negative 90 instead so it's exactly on the negative 90. And if I scooch it over, you can see it's it's still too large, of course, to actually be for that screen. So if you press R again, you can scale it down until it fits on your screen. Now that's fit on there pretty good. It's fit on there enough for me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here to the center of my room. I'm going to create a new folder by right clicking down here, hitting create, and then folder. I'm going to name this cam. This is where I'm going to put the camera itself. So I'm going to right click again. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to create a render texture. This is going to name cam as well. Of course, as it's a camera, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to drag and drop it right on there so it applies to this plane here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the cube now and then I'm going to press add component. Now I've already searched camera so it's the last thing that shows up as it saves what you've searched last but I'm going to delete it just to show you how easy it is to find a camera. All you have to do is type in C or CA if you want to be very specific and you just click on camera. Now what this does is it adds a camera modifier to your object and these white lines it's it's a visual representation of what your camera is looking at. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see output texture underneath your output and then you it see it says none for the render texture so you click this white dot and then you apply your render texture that you just made and if we go over here you can see it is applied but it is upside down so to fix that what you gotta do is you just grab it and you just rotate it around and just try and get it as exact as you can like I said you can use the manual inputting up here but I'm not gonna do that just to show it it, it is pretty easy just to rotate it around like that but if you want to be exact and perfect, you can. So you can see though, so we want it to pick up this maker pen over here, but you can see it's picking up all this over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, and we're going to rotate it just about 180 degrees. And you can see if you look in the bottom right here, the camera is updating live, so I can always see what it's pointing at exactly. Now I'm gonna press W again, and I'm gonna move it forwards. So it's picking up just the maker pen. I'm going to drag it up so it's pretty much at direct level with the maker pen. 
now to actually make it so we can actually export this what we want to do you want to click on this and this you need to make it a prefab and then a rec room object so it can be interacted with the maker pen so what you want to do is you want to drag and drop in here this will make a prefab of your camera now if you scroll down you want to go to add component again and then you want to type in rec room or you just type in rec and then you add a rec room object script to it itself now what we can do is we can actually export this and bring it into our scene. So now what you do is you go to Rec Room Studio and you can upload to RecNet. Now it will bring up this screen here and this is everything that's in here so you can see the size of everything. So what you want to do is you want to hit start build. So this will automatically make it so it starts uploading it to RecNet afterwards. But if you don't enable this, you just have to click on this little I icon right here and then you hit upload in there but I recommend just doing it in here it's easier and you hit refresh and upload now as you see this little yellow icon right here this is the current build in progress that's what this little hourglass is pretty much right here this signifies that there's a build in progress that is going to be completed shortly so I'm going to cut when that build is completed and I'll show you what it looks like in rec room itself all right so i'm back inside of the rec room room itself and i'm going to go over to where the tv screen is so you can see what it actually looks like inside of the game all right so as you can see of course you see the 3d maker pen spinning around as this is a live camera system so it's always constantly in real time updating so i'm going to jump over to the other side of the room and i'm going to show you what it actually looks like inside of rec room now I'm over here with the camera itself, you see that there's a blue box. That is because it is an untextured cube, pretty much. So when there's an object that's missing a texture in Rec Room, its default color it displays as is blue. That's what this is. There's nothing wrong with it. It still works. It's just instead of there being a texture, it just shows up as blue. If you don't want a blue cube, you can always texture it to any color you want. But just for this, I didn't texture it because it didn't need to be textured. But what you can do with this is I can interact with it and move it around since I had to make it a record object so I can change what the perspective on it is. All right, now I'm going to jump back again over to the other side of the room and I'm going to show you it with me over here so you can see that it also is automatically updating with players as well. All right, so my camera is across the room. It's still looking at the maker pen. But now I'm going to pretty much just I'm going to walk in front of where the maker pen is and then you'll see me show up on the camera screen. See? And this is automatically updating. It's live. It's updating. And this is just the live feed from over there. I can point directly at the camera as the blue box does actually signify exactly where the camera is looking. So now I can walk over here and I'll walk in front of where the TV screen itself is and see now I'm over here. And that's, that's pretty much everything you need to know on how to make a camera system. You can set up multiple of these if you just pretty much clone exactly the steps that I showed you. Just as many times as you need to do it. Um, that's, that's everything you need. You're all good. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, have a nice day.